what up virgo welcome back to the channel it's your girl Jeannie, and you already know what it is so let's just get into the energy let's see what's going on for you i'm gonna be doing a energy reading just check it on the energy and just seeing what comes out all right if you resonate with it give me a like comment down below subscribe to the channel all that good stuff if you don't leave it for somebody who it resonates with and i hope you have a wonderful day you feel me get out there virgo today get some sun enjoy your day uh, yeah, let's see what's going on for you. What's the energy surrounding Virgo at this time? <clears throat> uh, what's the energy surrounding Virgo at this time? We got, my intuition is bugging me. So I don't know if you saw, if it was on camera, but when I started out, this card was up top. Okay, with intuition is bugging me. There's something intuitively that could be like stuck in your head. Okay. Um, Something that you need to do, something that your mind and your body is telling you to do, but with the easier said than done energy, I feel like it's something you may not want to do or someone doesn't want to do. What's this energy for Virgo? Current energy surrounding Virgo. Intuition is bugging me. That's way too many. Somebody may own a flip phone. What's intuition is bugging me energy? Somebody could have like one of those old flip phones <clears throat> that still works. Okay. We got, I'm not a perfect person, Huba Stank Energy. We have Ratland Amusement Park and Self Care, I'm Treating Me Right. All right. Um. <clears throat> Your intuition is bugging you about a perfect a person, okay? Yeah, we got soul powers. Your intuition, this is a spiritual power at this point. You're tapping in intuitively. So this could be intuition. Um, you could feel somebody's energy, clairvoyant, clairambient, clairsentient with this intuition and uh, soul powers. There's something that is bugging you spiritually. And it could be about a person because we have, I'm not a perfect person here, Huba Stank Energy 2003. Somebody here knows they're not perfect, but they're willing to change or they want to change here. And with this Ratland Amusement Park energy, the Ratland is neutral ground, okay? The Ratland is a place where everybody can come and be neutral. So the background for this card is um, a TV show where they had groups and tribes of people, different animals, different whatever. And those groups and tribes stayed together and they outcasted everybody else. But in Ratland, Ratland was a place where all the tribes and the groups can get together um, in neutral ground and there's no fighting, there's no chaos. Uh, somebody wants to come together where there's no drama, no chaos. They want to get back together with you, but they want it to be under neutral ground. All right. Um, it's called Ratland because only rats go to neutral ground. You feel me? Only rats and rodents and people betraying their family goes to Ratland. So somebody wants you to betray yourself, betray your family to connect back to a not perfect person. <clears throat> okay. This is you. This is your energy. My intuition is bugging me and self-care. I'm treating me right. Mac Miller energy. All right. RIP Mac Miller. Virgo, I feel like at this time you're in self-care. You're treating yourself right. It's beautiful energy. We know that Mac Miller's song was uh, was like a high vibrational song for him. So I feel like you're in high vibrational energy. There's somebody who's not perfect and they want to get, to be get together in neutral ground to not fight or whatever, okay? Um, because they see you treating yourself. They see things happening for your life, whoever this person is. Who was saying energy? I'm not a perfect person. Who was saying they had to go through something like really terrible. This person could be facing homelessness, um, jail time. There's something that happened to this person where they are finally realizing like, I need to change, okay? So let's get into it. Why is intuition is bugging me for a Virgo? We have organization, Capricorn energy. We have convection, more Capricorn energy. There could be an, an organization, okay, who's trying to put you in a box. 
okay? Get you a part of an institution to put you in a box. Um, there could be something about a house, all right? What's intuition is bugging me? We have the King of Swords here. What's the intuition is bugging me? We have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. What's intuition is bugging me? We have the Five of Pentacles energy. Somebody's intuition was bugging them. I feel like they knew better and they still made an unwise decision. Or with the King of Swords, someone who was in charge or had authority told them that this was an unwise decision. And with the Five of Coins told them to leave something out to stop doing something. Okay, what's organization? We have the Justice card. A Libra could be significant. Okay, we have the Page of Wands, the Four of Coins, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords energy. Okay, somebody kind of got a message from the legal system or somebody in authority to hold back, okay, to balance out some type of theft or deception that they saw, but somebody wanted to win at all cost, okay, with a world card. Uh, somebody has some type of memory of a faded relationship that had a whole lot of competition surrounding it. Hmm. What's the organization? I feel like there was an organization, a cult, a group that was manifesting money, okay? Or they thought temperance, they thought that they could uh, get into this group um, to manifest this money. What's temperance and the empress energy? We have the page, we have the five of swords and the page of swords energy. We have the emperor. Okay. Intuition is bugging me. <clears throat> There's someone here with the king of swords energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, who feels like they made an unwise decision leaving someone out in the cold or casting someone out robbing somebody deceiving someone doing something that costs them dearly someone went from the ace of pentacles reverse to the five of pentacles okay um to even more lack so this person felt like it was unwise to do something because it led them to more lack okay whatever the intuition is bugging them about is some type of temperance organization Okay, either their organization tried to come against the divine feminine, okay, um, and they tried to win at all costs, and now they're seeing something, or this organization is you, and somebody was trying to win at all costs, and this is the king of swords and the page of swords, this is this energy who was trying to win at all costs. What's the organization here? We have the emperor and the empress here. Uh, we have the Hang One and the King of Swords. <clears throat> What's the organization? We have the Hang One. This is what was sacrificed. You were sacrificed, Three of Swords, Ten of Cups. They sacrificed happiness. They sacrificed and caused you pain. The Emperor, your Emperor did. My intuition is bugging me. All right. There's somebody here who left you out in the cold and they see that it's very fucking unwise because of all the karma that came with it. Whoever this is sacrificed you, okay, caused some type of pain, sacrificed their ten of cups, this organization, for an organization with the temperance, the... <clears throat> The Empress, the Five of Swords, and the Page of Swords energy. Somebody did this in order to like win at all costs. Um, Emperor showing up again. What's the Five of Swords and the Page of Swords? What's winning at all costs? We have the Page of Cups. What's the Five of Swords and the Page of Swords? We have the Four of Wands coming out crossing. This could be about a house, an offer for a house, or an offer for a relationship. <clears throat> The lovers, the nine of wands. Oh, the death card and the two of wands and the two of pentacles. There's somebody here who uh, knew you were a divine organization, but they wanted to win at all costs. Okay, somebody is seeing that you're divine now because they gave an offer to a lover. 
or they were supposed to, they gave an offer to a lover to you and they were in and out and it ended out some type of future plans. So this is somebody who tried to put you in a third party situation and they got casted out because they wanted you plus someone else. So they therefore sacrificed their happiness oh, under an unwise decision because somebody was juggling in secret with a Wheel of Fortune and the World card and that ended out some type of faded contract. Whatever was going on in the past, it has ended. Now somebody's in their memories. They're still holding on to the chance of moving towards you. Nine of Wands of the Justice card here. Somebody who wants to bring justice for wounding you. Page of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Sun card here. I feel like there's someone who... There's someone here who uh, their intuition is, was bugging them and they still made an unwise choice. Now they can't stop thinking about you and the wrong that they did. Okay. Uh, why is this person here for Virgo? The Eight of Swords. Whoever this is could be in jail, restricted, mentally restricted. What's intuition is bugging me? Somebody is in a supernatural jail for seven of swords for lying, stealing, deceiving you in the past. What's the eight of swords? Yeah, four of cups energy. Somebody's in restriction in jail for theft, for lying, four of cups energy. They're disconnected from you. They're going through towers. Somebody's really getting some bad karma right now. Nine of swords energy. Whoever this is, they're worried about the disconnection. They're worried about the distance. Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody also invested in some type of pettiness, okay? They invested in blocking you somehow. <clears throat> Somebody is worried because not only did they sacrifice you, but they also invested in working against you. And they're getting a whole lot of karma for this at this time. Whoever this is is still waiting for an opportunity to come towards you. Okay. Um, will this person ever have the opportunity to come towards Virgo? We have the Six of Cups and the King of Cups. No. Uh, this person only gets to hold on to memories and be in their feelings over memories. Yeah, they're blocked from coming towards you. Uh, let's get into the next energy. I'm not a perfect person. Who was stamp energy? Uh, somebody could like uh, be in a band, a boy band. Um, somebody could be a tall white guy with black hair. <clears throat> you do. Okay. What's I'm not a perfect person energy for Virgo? We have escape Pisces energy. Somebody wants to escape rebellion. Somebody wants to escape all of their karma by admitting that they're not a bad person. I mean, that admitting they are a bad person, but they want to change. Somebody thinks they can escape some type of situation by singing a song. Uh, like this is somebody who cr committed a crime and then once they uh, go on trial, they're like, I'm not a perfect person. Like, shut the fuck up. Anyways, somebody wants to escape some type of karma or you escape this person, whoever this is. There is Pisces Cancer energy here, number 12. Um, more Pisces energy. Uh, we got rebellion and affair. Okay. Somebody wanted to have some type of affair here. Yeah, they got excitement in it rebelling. This person got excitement in having affairs. This person got excitement on um, discriminating against people. All right, sorry about that interruption. Um, I also just heard this person could be trying to escape someone. Okay, whoever this is, intuition is bugging me and I'm not a perfect person. I feel like somebody had to learn a lesson. Somebody had to go through an extreme lesson to escape some type of karma in this lifetime or to escape from a karmic cycle. Somebody was in some type of karmic cycle where they rebelled against everything. They had a bunch of affairs, they got excitement off of discriminating and criticizing Virgo or you did this. We have indecision, patience, and submission. Somebody is indecisive, Virgo, um, but they were patient. They're being patient at this time and submissive. 
be of extremism, negotiation, and bluff, resistance. Somebody who thinks if they really apply pressure that you're bluffing. Okay, egotism. Somebody was fighting with their ego. There's somebody here with a mental illness, y'all. <laughs> okay, somebody who didn't listen to their intuition has some type of mental illness, whether that's like mental retardation or egotism, narcissism. There is something in this person that did not allow them to see that they were a terrible person with the I'm not a perfect person song. Okay. Let's see here. Why is I'm not a perfect person here for Virgo? We have the strength card. Okay, somebody was influenced by uh, something with the strength card. Uh, I feel like somebody has to be strong or is trying to be strong right now. Uh, this could be a Leo. We have the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Swords energy. Yeah. I feel like there's something here. Your strength, Virgo, your cutoff game, your strong boundaries, your strong intellect. Okay, this is heavy self-care energy. Okay, the strength card and the queen of swords is somebody who has strong boundaries, very intelligent, somebody who's standing on business. And with the nine of swords energy, it's putting someone else into some type of anxiety. Okay. Or... You're using your strength to set a boundary, but you have some type of anxiety about escaping from somebody. Somebody's trying to make you feel guilty. Yeah. Knight of Swords energy. What's the heavy on the Aquarius energy? We have the Three of Cups here. Empress, there's the Emperor and the Empress again, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, Temperance card energy. I feel like there's somebody here who sees that you put up a strong boundary with you and is afraid to come at you because they know there would be you two would have some type of fight if y'all got together okay what's the empress and the ace of wands what's the empress and the ace of wands we have a full new beginning yeah somebody is worried about your boundaries because they know it'd be a fight if they came towards you okay um with the escape, you may have escaped this person, all right? And with the Three of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, you're celebrating a new beginning. I'm telling you, you have Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, heavy on the self-care. Self-care, I'm treating me right. So somebody is watching you set strong boundaries, okay? Change your group, change your friends, change around your environment, move and have a new beginning, and it's putting them in anxiety. All right. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. What's the Knight of Cups in the reverse? We have the Four of Wands. Someone wants another chance. Someone wants a new beginning with you. Okay. Somebody here uh, with the Ace of Wands and the Four and the Knight of Cups in the reverse here. Someone wants a new beginning with you. They want to have this new beginning with you. The new beginning that you are walking in already. Okay, but the Knight of Cups is in the reverse. It's giving me the energy of a trick. Or somebody <clears throat> not courting you correctly. Somebody not treating you correctly when they were in a relationship with you in the past. We have the Nine of Cups and the Three of Swords. Somebody either wanted to indulge and party uh, in the past. And it's called, oh, they're thinking about how they tricked you and how they weren't loyal to you when they were in a relationship with you in the past. They're thinking about the happiness they got from it and it's causing them pain because 
when they had you, it was abundant. Yeah, judgment. Now their intuition is bugging them with the three of wands, the two of cups in the reverse and the moon card. Somebody is waiting because they feel rejected. They feel like you're not going to take them back with the moon, the seven of cups, the six of pentacles. This person could be in some type of illusion. Okay. Or it could be illuminated to this person that you have options that you are giving or receiving from in the public with the lovers of four of cups and you do not want their offer at all. At all. Damn. And then you come out as all three queens. Uh, so this person could have definitely put you in a third party situation. It's the nine of cups in the reverse. We have the ten of swords. Yeah, they betrayed you. Okay, they betrayed you when they had you. And now they regret it. The page of swords. Now they're watching. Uh, whatever happened between you and this person, they may have caused you a whole lot of pain, Virgo, um, in this ten of swords energy. But it, but it turned you into the empress. It healed you and turned you into putting your energy into yourself. The self care. I'm treating me right. So this person made you go into introspection, start doing self-care, treating yourself right, building yourself up, going towards your divine alignment. And you triggered this person into seeing all their negative ways. You allowed this person to see which ways in where they were not perfect. Okay. You allowed them to see, okay, the pain and the things that they went through. I feel like somebody, I'm telling you, heavy on the mental retardation, okay, heavy on the mental retardation, heavy on the ignorance, heavy on the audacity, heavy on the narcissistic energy, okay, heavy on the no emotionally attached energy. Because somebody, when they had you and they were causing all of this pain, with the nine of cups, they got, they were happy, okay, they didn't see your pain, they didn't give a fuck about it. They gave you away willingly. They sacrificed you and your family. They caused you pain, put you in third parties. When this person had you, they had some type of mental retardation, okay, that allowed them to do the things that they did. And it took you leaving them, bossing up for them to even start to see that they're not a perfect person. I feel like somebody needs mental help. I feel like they need to go see a therapist. I feel like Virgo, it took you a whole lot of strength to escape for this person and the audacity that they have to think that you want to be anywhere near them is disgusting. Okay, it's just gross for me. Uh, what's Ratland energy? We have amusement park, zoo, park, fun, uh, water slide, vacation energy. Somebody wants to go to a neutral place. They want to have uh, find at a place where there's no fighting, there's no wars, there's no crips, there's no bloods, there's no beef. Somebody wants to go to a place where y'all can have fun. You could be going to this amusement park, Virgo. You could be going to places where you can have fun, casinos, parks, zoos, amusement parks, uh, roller coaster places. You could be traveling at this time. Yeah, self-care. Man, I feel like you escaped from some type of narcissistic energy, okay? It went to neutral ground so you could treat yourself right. Like, this is the energy that I'm getting. Like, you're about to be in a whole lot of excitement, uh, having a whole lot of fun, taking care and having fun with your family, and being, yeah, if you have egotism, and treating yourself right, Virgo. And I feel like there's someone who's super ego egotistical, who's like waiting to come back around. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. What's Ratland Amusement Park? Lord, I pray while this person is away from Virgo that you take them far, far away. I pray that you scatter them amongst the earth to no longer be able to find Virgo again. We have practicality and Capricorn energy. And we have revenge and Scorpio energy. Yep. So somebody wants to have a practical uh, place where you can meet together because two families, two tribes two nations have beef with a revenge somebody thinks it's practical to go to like an amusement park where there's no crips and bloods to kill you like somebody wants to go to somewhere where there's no weapons allowed so then y'all can be have a practical meetup all right 
Uh, we have a fair and Leo energy again. We have Gemini energy again, Pisces energy again, Sagittarius energy, heavy on the Capricorn, okay? Somebody wants to have a practical union. Let's see about this. I feel like there's somebody here with heavy mental illness, 10, 10, 12. I feel like somebody here has heavy mental illness. They need to seek psychiatric help and they need to leave you alone. King of Cups in the Eight of Swords energy, heavy on the mental instability, okay? Heavy on the mental restriction. There's something wrong with somebody's mind. They need a therapist, okay? Huh. What's Ratland Amusement Park energy? Uh, there could be a sheep, a cow, a billy goat. There's something here about animals, petting zoos, Virgo, uh, spring pollen, pollen animals, okay? There's something here about bees. A bee may get into your house. Okay, you may have you may find a mouse or a rat inside of a house. Okay, uh, something about ants, Virgo as well. We have the Sun card and we have the Six of Wands. Yeah, Ratland Amusement Park. This is fun energy. This is somewhere where you go, you feel me? Where the sun is shining. It's very fun, happy, successful, lighthearted energy with the Six of Wands. There's a lot of fun. It's attraction. Um, this is something that gets a lot of attention. You could go to an amusement park. You could be having vacations under the sun, Virgo. I'm here in Cuba, Costa Rica. All kinds of stuff. Give me a second, y'all. Oh, sorry about that, Virgo. A whole lot of interruptions, a whole lot of bullshit. Okay, stay focused. <laughs> don't don't allow things to take you off focus from your work. Because I feel like there's going to be a whole lot of fun, distraction, family, sun time, bugs. There's a whole lot of things that's going to be getting your attention at this time. The Spirit wants you to move forward, okay? Move forward on the things that are bringing you emotional peace and stability here. With the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Four of Cups, whoever is in this energy, all right? Whoever is in this energy is because they lied or stole or they deceived you. Okay. Anyways, spirit wants it's giving it's giving me the energy of uh, misery loves company, and you're you're in the sun. The right land card is yellow. The sun yellow here. You're outside. Yellow chariot energy. You're driving around the amusement park, zoos. Going to see monuments, Virgo. Having fun, seeing things, doing things that you never have. Doing this is this is the energy of a fun time. Okay, we have the Temperance, and I feel like this was divinely guided with the Sun card. All right, there's something here where you're being put back into your peace, your divine energy. Hell yeah, I'm treating me right, and I just I heard that because Virgo, the more you treat yourself right, the more you take care of yourself, the more the divine can step in and bring you these this more happiness. Oh, we're getting into the word of the week. Hold on, okay? There's something here about the divine showing you the more you take care of yourself, the more love and the happiness that you seek, the more they'll pour into you, Virgo. All right, Page of Pentacles. This is good news for you, all right? With the Ratland energy, we have Temperance in the Eight of Wands. I feel like stuff is speeding up for you, Virgo. Okay, things are coming in. A divine peace, purpose, balance is coming into your life as you're on neutral ground. I feel like you escape from chaos. You escape from hell, from this narcissist. Okay, and then you are able to go back into peace, into divine peace and favor that comes with being in alignment, that comes with being in uh, the light. Somebody was trying to dim your light in darkness. And then they tried to sacrifice you and your family. And you escaped into neutral ground. And now you're taking care of yourself. This is beautiful energy. What's temperance in the eight of wands? You're the queen of pentacles. Yeah. I feel like you're moving in a way that's very logical, nurturing, successful, happy for you and your family. There's also going to be some type of successful financial adventure, Virgo. This could be a new job, new position, resources falling out of the sky. I feel like opportunities are just going to arise to you. The divine can bring in uh, opportunities and resources for you because you held back from somebody, because you're protecting yourself, because you are standing in your confidence. And with the, the devil, the moon, and the nine of coins energy... You're standing in your confidence, even though there could be something toxic around you with the moon card. 
or you're holding back from this toxic energy. There could be a, uh, a Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn energy uh, that you notice if you hold back from, you gain more I feel like there was somebody in the background, Queen of Wands energy, who was trying to hold you back. Whoever this is, Queen of Wands, the devil, could definitely be a karmic or somebody who's obsessed with doing something in the moon energy, hidden energy. Somebody was trying to hold you back by doing something toxic, whether that's slandering, uh, exposing dirty secrets. Somebody wanted to hold your confidence back, hold you back with something toxic, okay? Because it's illuminated to them that you are independent, that you're cool, that you're dedicated to being independent. So with the seven of swords and the four of swords and the nine of swords energy, I feel like somebody lied about something, okay? Or somebody tried to steal or somebody was trying to deceive your energy. So there was somebody here attached to this man who was also trying to hold you back and deceive people about who you are. So you miss out on opportunities with this person who is in the Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords energy. This Queen of Wands was doing this because they knew that you were their wish fulfillment and they were competing to invest with this person and move them into confusion and end them dating you. All right, so there is a woman here in the background. There's a woman here who is also watching you move forward and get some type of uh, blessing, Virgo. This woman was trying to hold you back from this man, investing with this man. Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like that was a blessing in disguise. Yeah, we celebrating. There's some woman who really thought that she was holding you back from your divine counterpart or holding you back from something that you needed. There was a woman here who thought that they were going to hold back your financial blessings, hold back you in some type of way um, because they allowed some man who was narcissistic to you to join up in a team against you okay these people got together they grouped together this woman grouped together with this narcissistic man and in their head they were defeating you because you were never going to get to invest with this man spirit wanted this to happen the whole time with the sun card the temperance the ace of pentacles you are now seeing the clear divine plan through this all Virgo. They had to allow this third party to attach the narcissist so that they could get the narcissist away from you and you could go back into this divine energy. See, these people really thought they were plotting and planning and holding you back from something, but it was all divinely guided so that that woman can get with this narcissist and they can ruin each other's lives while you are moved away into peace and harmony. This is the energy. You were, This was the blessing. This was the ace of pentacles. This was the, the divine plan the whole time was to move you into neutral ground, Virgo. And they used a third party. They used a third party to, to do it. They used some woman who wanted revenge on you. So they got in an affair with this man. Okay, they were versatile in, su su in seducing this man. Okay, to get their fulfillment. Have you on the fireside energy? They were all excited about this company, this companionship, because they thought that they were standing on you, Virgo. They thought that you wanted this man. They thought that you needed this man, okay? And they were very optimistic about their decision that they made to do this and rebel against you. And with the choice and loss energy, what they chose was their own loss, okay? This was all a part of the plan. They submitted to the plan, to the order that was needed to inspire them to try to... <gasps> the Y'all, y'all not hearing me. This is crazy. These people... Okay, these people had certain character flaws. These people went through certain things that made them how they are. The Queen of Wands had some type of life where she was jealous over women like you. This narcissistic energy has some type of life where he was narcissistic to women. These people went through something, so then they made the decision to rebel against you. They had to make these choices. See, Spirit needed these people to make free will choices so then they can divinely intervene and cause them losses, okay? 
they submitted to the order that they were inspired to do. This person was inspired to sacrifice you, Virgo. This person was inspired to leave you behind. This Queen of Wands was inspired to get to to get to get this man to get revenge on you. All of these people were inspired to do things against you um, because they were pre-exposed to things in their childhood that made it so this happened. Y'all not understanding me. There was a divine plan that went back to people's childhoods that all was set up to protect you, Virgo. And you're about to discover all of this. You're about to discover why you have been protected, why your union, uh, the relationship, the thing that is divinely for you, why somebody asserted this, why you were in isolation, why people went to extremes. You're about to figure out all of this. Spirit is about to show you. That everybody had to go through all of this so then we could go through this and that so then you can, you feel me, get away from these people. They had to t they had to fall in their own traps, Virgo. And they did. And this was the divine blessing. This was the divine plan the whole time. Uh, what's the Ace of Pentacles? The Ace of Swords? And that's the truth. I'm about to cry. Uh, you're free, Virgo. You're free. Okay. I feel like the divine is about to tell you the truth as well. There's going to be some type of communication that allows you to see things clearly, see the truth, understand the truth with the hermit energy. There could be an investigator here investigating on something, okay? Somebody could have gotten offered to betray you and walk away from you and cause you some emotional loss to bring you a tower. This was their plan, the third party plan. This was the opportunity that they wanted. They wanted to get justice and revenge on you. <laughs> wow. Um, Ratland energy. Uh, these people will never be allowed near you. Okay. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, Virgo. I feel like your success, some type of resource, something was tapped into due to some type of negative attachment from your past, uh, winning at all costs. Like I said, there's something that happened in childhoods that made y'all the way that y'all all that predisposed you to inspire every single person to take the actions that they did in order to conspire in a plan in that you succeed in Virgo with the Six of Cups in the reverse. Um, something could be happening presently. Okay, this is not the past. You are in Ratland as we speak. You are in neutral ground, celebrating as we speak. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands energy. There's someone here, the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands? What's the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands? We have the Three of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords energy. Now that you know some type of truth, okay, with the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Wands, oh, somebody's negative uh, actions in the past, okay, sparked some type of future plan. Oh, whatever this person did to you in the past is the reason why you're in Ratland right now. And with the Two of Wands and the Three of Swords, what's the Two of Wands and the Three of Swords energy? We have the Tower, okay? Right now, somebody, uh, their future plans, they're heartbroken about it. They're having a tower um, because I feel like these people thought that they were going to succeed. Okay, we have the Judgment and the High Priestess. I feel like these people thought that they were going to succeed um, but now they're seeing how their actions in the past is causing them pain and towers currently. But the Ace of Wands, the Judgment, and the High Priestess here. A uh, High Priestess could have definitely told somebody something. Okay, the Ace of Wands, the Judgment, the High Priestess. But I also feel like somebody, like I said, y'all, some action someone took caused pain in a tower, but it also like tapped you in spiritually. Okay, it awoken your judgment, it awoken your spirituality, it awoken your spiritual powers. We saw that intuitively, intuitive powers, Virgo. It tapped you in. So, somebody's plan to destroy you really built you up, 
is really what got you in the milk and honey energy right now. Like I said, it was all conspiring in your favor. Even the weapons formed against you, Virgo. They never did prosper. They never did prosper. What's the two of wands energy? We have the emperor. What's the two of wands in the emperor? We have the five of swords. What's the two of wands in the emperor and the five of swords energy? We have the seven of swords. What's that? We have the page of swords and the king of pentacles energy. We have the two of swords. Oh, well, there's that woman again. Maybe this person thought you, maybe they were deceived about you, okay? There could have been something that happened in the past here, a negative action that you took. Something, something negative happened and action was took and it sparked some type of plan, okay? Whatever action was... Uh, painful and it caused a destruction, all right? But what it started was it made someone see you clearly for who you are. So somebody here was blocked about you, the Queen of Wands energy. I said that there could have been a third party, um, but I feel like this woman was trying to block someone from seeing who you were seeing you clearly this karmic here with the moon and the nine of pentacles the nine of coins the justice the page of pentacles energy someone knew that someone planned to come towards you in the future so this person with the intuition is bugging me energy uh whoever that karmic person is was working with this man to stop you from getting with an emperor okay their plan was to destroy you okay so that you would not receive or get with an emperor all right and we have the page of swords and the king pen this side the eight of swords somebody is seeing that their actions What's the page of swords, the king of swords, king of coins, page of swords, the king of coins, the seven of coins, the four. All right. Somebody's here. They wanted to do something so then they can win at all costs and deceive you so that you don't get with someone who's on your caliber. Somebody wanted you to see them as a provider, a father figure, um, but with the Eight of Swords, the Six of Swords energy, whoever this is, is restricted, okay? What's the Eight of Swords, the Six of Swords? The Hanging One. Yeah, somebody here wanted to be seen as like a provider, king of pentacles, energy, all right, because they are in jail or restricted in some type of way. They wanted to move to a better place by sacrificing something to a pentacles to balance something. What the fuck were they going to sacrifice? The ten of swords and the eight of cups. The hermit. Uh -huh. mm. All right, I'm not gonna go too deep into that. There's somebody who wanted to ruin you before you could get someone who's on your caliber. All right, since you don't want to take them back, somebody wanted to be seen as a provider, um, but they were restricted. So to move to a better place. They sacrificed you, had a painful ending. They walked away and invested in some woman. Nine of Cups. The Seven of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody wanted to be seen as investing in something that is making them emotionally happy. Okay, they went towards this Queen of Cups energy. Or they went towards other people to manifest that they were 
who they said they were, okay? With the Two of Swords and the Nine of Swords energy, or they did this to block you, Virgo, to block your finances. So this person could have invested in some type of wish fulfillment and illusion with a Queen of Cups. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, they said that they can block you from moving forward. Um, were they able to block Virgo from moving forward? The Empress, no. Uh, justice. The Empress was always your birth word. You were always going to be the Empress. You were always going to move forward. You were always going to be abundant. Whoever these people were, they were in an illusion that they could slow you down, that they could block you in some type of way. They couldn't. Okay, you are still going and getting your justice. There's something here about uh, you being set back into alignment. So if these people took you off your divine course and you found yourself in poverty and lack, Virgo, you're about to be put back into alignment where you usually were. Okay, there's some type of financial opportunity. All right. And I feel like this person was working with someone because you put up a restriction. So to balance something, they took an offer with this person, this illusion that they were waiting for. Okay. And that's how they got rid of these people. They put them in illusion. They told them that they could do stuff. They believed each other. Okay. The spirit got them fighting themselves so they could move you back into your rat land energy. Into neutral ground where you could prosper. Uh, and yeah, Virgo, this is this is really the energy. Somebody's intuition is fucking with them, though. Somebody here. I don't know who this is. Uh, is this a karmic? Is this a karmic or somebody who was supposed to be divine? I'm not sure. Um, if this person. I'm not sure who this person is. What's intuition is bugging me? If this is just a random man who came against you, if they have some real attachment to you, we got reconciled. We know, okay? We know this man wants to reconcile, but who is it? Who is this man? Who is this man? Workplace affair. They were having a workplace affair with that woman. We know they were working together and sleeping with each other to try to come against you. Sex addiction. Yeah. Okay, but who is this man to Virgo? Why is this man here? Whoever this is, they're not happy. You turn their back or they're not happy with the person that they chose to have an affair with. Okay. Yeah, self-care. I'm treating me right. So they're not happy with the choice because they chose somebody that wasn't you. Hell yeah. Who is this person though? Why are they here? Why does this person matter? We have legal matters. You may have a legal matter with this person, child support, property, divorce. They may be losing their house, their property. This person could be a criminal. We have self-love energy. This person could have stole from you, fucked up your property, um, did something that involved the law and you, Virgo. Who is this person? Sex addiction, someone with sex addiction who's in massive regrets. So I don't feel like this person has any tie to you. This is not a divine person, okay? We have side eye, apology, unsure, and motives. If this person was to uh, apologize to you, yeah. We got psycho ex who's crazy over you and won't let go. This is not your divine counterpart, okay? This is a karmic who wants to marry you. Weird ass energy, Virgo. Somebody who wants to trap you. This is not a divine counterpart. This isn't anybody who's divine. This isn't anybody you're supposed to be with. Do not be confused about their energy. Whoever this is, is a crazy obsessed ex that won't let go. This is a psychopath who needs mental help. Okay? And you need to do whatever you need to do to keep this person away from you and your family. Okay? I had to check real quick because I kept on the Empress and the Emperor. And I know damn well this is not an Emperor, okay? This is not an Emperor. So I feel like there is an Emperor, okay, who's on your level. Uh, a relationship here coming in for you that somebody wanted to steal from you. Okay. Uh, they may have convinced this man with this mental illness 
that they were, I am the one. Somebody may have convinced this man that they were divine masculine, that they were the twin flame, that they were the partner. Somebody may have convinced this man with a mental illness, you feel me? That they were the one for you, Virgo? Uh-uh. No. Uh, if this was a divine person, they wouldn't have discriminated against you, Virgo. Uh, the divine sees the divine. Uh, the holy sees holy. Like, if somebody was on your level, if they were for you, they would have saw you. But they didn't. Okay? And that's how you know that they were a demon. That's how they know that they're blind. Okay? And that's how you know that they're not for you. With self-love and treating me right. Self-love. Self-care. I'm treating me right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, <laughs> we got criticism. Number six, and we have control again. Heavy Capricorn energy, Virgo. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, heavy in this bitch. Capricorn on Capricorn and Sagittarius energy. Heavy on that, okay? We have control, riches, optimism, rebellion, discovery, protection. Somebody here, okay, they wanted to control you and your riches, okay? They were very optimistic about rebelling against something until they discovered your protection, all right? With the health and appreciation, impulsiveness, somebody started to appreciate their health after they impulsively came against you. We have charity, domination, and egotism. I feel like somebody was trying to dominate something charitable out of ego, Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're not going to put too much energy into that. We're going to move on here with self-care energy for Virgo. I'm treating me right. You get your hair done, your nails done, makeup, Virgo. You be getting flowers, adorning your body with um, uh, beautiful, live, living things. The plants in your house may be growing. You could be gardening, okay? Heavy on the gardening energy. Heavy on the cleaning the car, gardening, going to amusement parks, summer shit. You're out here... You're out here doing summer shit, okay? And I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, watch out for um, plants that cause irritation to the eyes, nose, throat. Okay, there could be irritation in your eyes, nose, pollen energy. We have the Knight of Swords. I'm treating me right. Right, 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 right. Hell yeah, criticism. Somebody's mad at you for treating you right. What the fuck? Somebody could feel wounded or have, feel like they're going through adversity because you're treating yourself right. Or you are the wounded warrior, Virgo. Uh, there's wounds and there's things that happen to you that put you in this self-care energy. And somebody's criticizing you. They want to attack you for treating yourself right. Okay? What's the Knight of Swords energy? Hell yeah. That's how, also how you know somebody's a demon. Who looks at somebody who's doing self-care and be like, yeah, let me go fuck up their day. A demon with self-care. That's treating me right. We have the Nine of Cups energy. Hell yeah. We have the Empress. Yeah. Somebody is wanting is uh stepping on wands. Lord have mercy. Somebody is attacking you because you move forward. Okay, you're moving forward. You're succeeding and taking care of yourself. Being this abundant empress, you have a you are succeeding in taking care of your family, your home, your beauty, and all of that. Virgo, this is the energy of somebody. Hey Juju, please stop. This is the energy of somebody who gets their hair done, nails done, dress, take care of a house, home, job, everything, family, by themselves and succeeding doing it. And this is somebody who is attacking you and criticizing you because you are moving forward. Somebody feels criticized because you can move forward. This could be a lover here. Somebody feels criticized, Virgo. They feel like it's an attack because you can be prosperous without them. That's so fucked up. Like, why not just be happy for me, bitch? Why not just be happy? Somebody's over here mad because you are moving forward. Somebody also here uh, uh, may want to come towards you. And somebody could be criticizing them for wanting to come towards you. What's the Knight of Swords? Hell yeah. This could be a Mac Miller. We have the Six of, so we have the six of Cups energy. Okay. Um, this could be a man who's treating themselves right. And they're being attacked 
for moving towards you or they were attacked in the past or moving towards you. What's the King of Swords, the Six of Cups? There's the Emperor. Okay. Hell yeah. We have the Nine of Coins energy. <clears throat> I'm treating me. Somebody here was attacked, okay, from moving towards you. Somebody has memories of being attacked from moving towards you. What's the Emperor and the Six of Cups? The Three of Swords. What's the Emperor, the Six of Cups, and the Three of Swords? The King of Pentacles energy. Do the Magician? Virgo, I feel like some type of attack, some type of pressure, something that these people did pushed you forward into being the empress. Like I said, this was all leading up to you succeeding anyways. So I feel like the universe allowed things to happen because this attack, whatever it did, drove you and gave you the willpower to become the empress. I feel like in the past, Virgo, you had to be in your masculine energy you had to be in your divine masculine energy because you were heartbroken okay heartbroken or some type of pain came uh, towards you there was some type of pain that put you in masculine energy and had you focusing on your money okay this is what manifests this prosperity for you self-care i'm treating me right you started criticizing yourself for even dealing with these people and the shit that happened to you in your past but whatever happened to you in your past put you in masculine energy to deal with this pain and still keep working. See, everything was conspiring in your favor, even though that the universe allowed things to cause you pain and put you in masculine energy, allowed people to criticize you and come against you. This is what ultimately manifested you, your blessings. The Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords and the Strength card. Some type of action, something that you went into, okay, that was a nightmare, gave you strength to set up boundaries. It gave you strength to heal yourself. It gave you strength to hold on to your peace and hold on to your blessings through through burdens, Virgo. It gave you it gave you strength to pray and rest. And with the world card in the reverse, the two of swords and the four of wands here, somebody's contemplating about it. They feel like something is not over, okay. Uh, they feel like they feel like they're blocked from some type of happiness and that's their justice for trying to win at all costs. Okay, so there's someone here who is in karmic energy. I feel like this is a karmic masculine who needed to learn an extreme lesson from the divine. So they sent you this person to elevate you spiritually, okay, and to... Put this person in their place, basically, because this person was so egotistical. They thought that they can control you and, and destroy you. And because they had some type of soul tie in your life, this person was going to interact with you no matter what. So the divine orchestrated it to allow this person to put you in your masculine energy, put you through pain so that you focused on your work, Virgo. It was all still conspiring in your favor. Yeah, five of swords in the reverse. You were able to bounce back, two of wands. This was the plan to be able to bounce back. You were told to take some type of action. We have the seven of pentacles in the reverse and we have the hermit in the reverse. We have the high priestess here. Yeah, you were forced to get into your masculine energy and use that pain and channel it into your work, into your finances to recover it. With the two of wands and the nine of wands and the seven of pentacles in the reverse, there was some type of plan and action. Uh, the seven of pentacles in the reverse talks about uh, money worries and failed investments. And the hermit in the reverse talks about knowledge. Yeah, there was a plan that you were taking action on that was going to fail, Virgo. But with the Hermit in the reverse energy, 
I feel like you didn't have knowledge of something. High Priestess, the Death, the Eight of Wands in the reverse. This is this person, man. There's somebody here who puts you through some type of pain, but you bounce back from it. Their plan was to come in or their plan was to take action to make you have financial problems so that you come out of hermit energy. Wow. Okay. High Priestess, because you're secretive, you're quiet. Somebody is taking action now, okay? Or in the past, Virgo, they took some type of action to fuck with your finances so that you have to come out of isolation away from them, all right? They thought this was going to bring y'all back together, but in reality, it just puts you in masculine energy, okay? And you bounce back and you recovered and their plan failed. Yeah, we have the Eight of Wands now in the upright. What's the Eight of Wands? We have the Nine of Wands energy. Yeah, you just persevered, Virgo, and rejected this person. And now they're worried because their trick didn't work. It was never going to work. You were never going to fall for this trick. You were never supposed to be with this person. Um, you were never going to be forced to be with this person. Um, whatever plan that they had, they executed, Virgo, but it was never going to prosper. The Spirit allowed you to be in masculine energy so then you can recover but now it's time to step back into the feminine energy now that you're in rat land now that this person's plans failed spirit wants you to step back into feminine energy okay they wanted to attack you so hard that you showed up masculine and and crazy virgo but it's over it's over and now spirit wants you to show up in this feminine energy your divine feminine energy so that you can receive all the abundance and the love and the happiness that is meant for you at this time why is judgment in the reverse we have the ace of wands somebody used bad judgment here okay ace of wands when they started some type of lie okay what's the ace of wands and the seven of swords The Seven of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Someone's bad judgment is what created something. Somebody was lying about where something came from, the equal give and take of something. Somebody was lying about their part in some type of blockage. What's the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Cups? The Lovers and the Six of Wands. Somebody was using uh, bad judgment, okay? They weren't in clear mind, clear sound mind. Like I said, they have a mental illness with judgment in the reverse here. Uh, when they came up with some type of, when they started some deceptive plan, okay, to steal something. What's the Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles? We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, overindulgence. This was them in this group, overindulging. What were they trying to, what's the Six of Pentacles? We have the Fool and the Page of Cups. What's the Six of Pentacles here? The Emperor. Wow. Somebody had, they weren't in the clear mind and clear judgment when they um, began something. Somebody was under some deception that they could receive receive something but with this deception in the nine of cups in the reverse they didn't they weren't satisfied with they what, what they received somebody could thought that they were going to receive some type of emperor status okay receive some type of control if they blocked you from having a new lover or blocked you from a relationship what's the lovers in the six of wands we have the Three of Swords. 
be the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Cups and the Magician and the Empress. Somebody was blocking you from love and their heart broken because the attacks only manifested you abundance. Huh. There was somebody in your... This is what I mean. This person was used. Their mental illness was used. Their mental retardation was used. Their jealousy, their ego, this woman. They used everyone in this situation to manifest your abundance. Everything that they did, every block that they put in your path that they thought that they were going to steal from you, take from you, destroy you in some type of way, conflict with your happiness. Every Everything that they did just manifested more abundance for you. Weird shit, family. Weird shit, but don't think too hard about it. Enjoy the abundance. You feel me? Enjoy the peace and love and the harmony that comes with being in neutral ground, that comes with being in alignment where you can take care of yourself, being an empress energy again. Allow the universe to bless you with all the blessings that they have for you. You're about to be put back on path. Okay, you're about to be put back on, in a place where you're supposed to be, Virgo, which is this Empress energy, you feel me, which is this regal, taking care of, abundant energy. You're about to be put right back on top, okay? Um, yeah, and I feel like these people are learning, everybody's learning a very hard lesson that everything done against you only conspires in your favor, okay, and gives them bad karma. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> ah, thank you. Okay. Let's see. Final messages here. Final messages. Intuition is bugging me. Hypocritical. Everyone hypercritical of everyone but the biggest hypocrite yeah there's some narcissistic energy here who is hypercritical criticizing you your family how you take care of your life but you're over here prospering whoever this is is the biggest hypocrite out of everyone okay we have they try to hustle you and others but you all know what they are doing like I said, somebody has a mental illness, y'all. He's mentally retarded. Who tries to hustle someone when they know they can't? Or when this is the energy of somebody trying to lie to people who already know what they're lying about. And then being like, yeah, I tricked them. Like, no, you didn't. You're dumb. Somebody's mentally retarded. We have winning. Things are looking up. It's time to celebrate here. We have afraid of losing themselves by loving you. Whoever this is thinks that they are winning. Okay. Um, they try to hustle you and others, but you all know what they're up to. This person is trying to do some type of hustle and everybody knows about it. This person could be doing something illegal that they think they're winning and they're getting away with, but everybody knows, okay? Um, but with a fearful afraid of losing themselves by loving you, this person was afraid of getting rid of their not so perfect things to love you. So this is somebody who sacrificed you so they can stay in this not perfect energy and do all the addictive, dirty things that they like to do. Okay. Give me something for a not a perfect person. They can't get over you, so they stalk you on social media. Uh-huh. Give me something, delete your social media, get ghost. This is a narcissistic energy. Uh, anyways, what's Ratland energy for Virgo? Ratland energy for Virgo. And I was, th I was just thinking about, um, <laughs> I was just thinking about deleting my social media and coming up with some fake shit because I know these bitches watching. Uh, we got marital energy. Issues stemming from trust issues. Whatever this is, uh, has partner issues. They have trust issues that stem from things that happen to them. Cheap ass, they are broke and saving their pennies. And then we have more focus on look, Ratland energy. I feel like this person, when they were in a relationship with you, uh, all their issues with you stem from trust issues. So Ratland, again, talks about a place where there's no guns, no violence. There's only peace. 
So I feel like y'all had some type of issue that stemmed from trust issue that this person wanted neutral ground on, okay? But they were cheap ass and they were broke. Like I said, they wanted to appear like they had money, okay? That they were secure so they could appear like they were on, their, on your level, Virgo. But this is what puts you in masculine energy because you have to go take action for yourself because you cannot rely on this person. You couldn't trust them. They weren't going to provide for financially, mentally. This is like, y'all, anyways, I'm not going to go too far into it. But this is like somebody with a mental illness, okay, in charge of money. And then trying to be in charge of your money. Like, no. With self-care, we got internet trolls jealous of what you have and how you appear. So because you're doing self-care, there's people trolling you online because they're jealous of you, okay? Like, they're threatened by you. They feel attacked by you pampering yourself. So they're trolling you, Virgo, because they wanted you to be in masculine energy, um, but you aren't. Look, a mediator may help to settle a dispute, call a good one, okay? So you may have to uh, call a lawyer for these internet trolls. You may have to take somebody to court. Um, they are... Detour is currently affecting your position, okay? This person was a detour that was affecting your position, and we saw that, okay? We saw that this person wanted to prevent you from being in peace and abundance and in a relationship, okay? They wanted to detour you from this self-care, the position you were currently in. Then I say that the show are already currently in this position, 444, okay? This person wants to detour something that you're in, okay? They think that they're smarter than you due to their background, okay? They think that they're smart, even though this person has a clear mental illness and mental retardation, all right? They think that they're smarter than you because they may have some type of background. They may have done something in the past that made them feel this way. That's often happens with people with mental illness. We have addiction is causing strife and, a, and alienation in a relationship. <sighs> this is the energy that I got for you today. Virgo, if you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and see what's coming up next to the Virgo. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.